my initial motivation to start working with uh, the gut microbiome and autism were um, two um, sets of evidence that uh, convinced me that it was a question worth um, answering. And these two uh, sets, uh, point, uh, sets of evidence were that many kids with autism have a lot of gastrointestinal problems. The other one, there was a paper in 2000 that showed um, a treatment with vancomycin where children with autism were treated with vancomycin. And while they were on the vancomycin treatment, their, their behavior also improved. And if we can um, reduce those GI symptoms and make these children more comfortable, that will give them a better lifestyle, a better quality of life. Dr. Jim Adams is the reason why I started working with autism. I'm the chair of materials engineering here at ASU, but because I have a daughter with autism, and because 20 some years ago, uh, we knew very little about the causes of autism, how to treat it, how to prevent it, I decided it was time to start doing some research. So my role in the studies is primarily on the clinical side, working with the patients, uh, working with uh, writing the human subjects protocols, uh, recruiting patients, um, guiding them through a study. It could be just a collection study, or we've also done some clinical trials as well. And so supervising the clinical trials in collaboration with our physicians. And then working with um, Dr. Rosie, her group does the microbiome analysis, they help us with the um, designing the studies and then with interpreting the results when we have them. And I knew that Dr. Jim Adams was interested in the microbiome and autism, so the match was a great one because he had the autism knowledge. We were very pleasantly surprised to see about an 80% reduction in GI symptoms and also some improvement in autism symptoms. What surprised me was that a year after we completed the study, after treatment was done, several families came up to me and said they continue to see improvements in their child. It's very unusual to have a treatment that after you stop giving it, there continues to be improvement. So our thinking is that what we've done is we've been able to remove a lot of uh, toxins due to gut bacteria. We've been able to change the gut bacteria to make it healthier. So now the brain is better able to learn, and now these children are able to begin catching up to their peers. However, this was an open-label study, so we need to keep in mind that the results are very, very exciting, but we need more data to confirm that this actually can be of course, a treatment. This, this opens the possibility of using microbiome modifications as a treatment for autism. So this is exciting, super exciting. So we really hope to be able to bring, uh, to help work to bring this product to market, to help many people with autism. And we think the same sort of very intensive microbiota therapy may help with other conditions as well.